it's time to move on to the front and rear shocks as well as the shock guards, the front bumper, and the wheelie bar. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with the front. As you can see, the shocks have already been assembled. All I have to do is attach the shock springs, which are going to be part of Indigy's shock spring kit. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that on, pop on the bottom brace, and then do that with the other shock. Now that my shocks are fully assembled, I'm going to move on to attaching the shock guards. So I'm going to get this screw, slide it through that hole, then I'm going to put this plastic bushing on there. Next, I need to attach it to the front A-arm, and it screws in right there. Now that that's been attached, I'm going to go ahead and get the shock itself, slide it into the groove, and then I'm going to line it up with the hole that's right in the middle, and then put a screw right through. And now it's time to move on to the top of the shock. So I'm going to get a shoulder screw, slide that through the hole, put a washer on the end, and then attach it to the middle hole. And now it's the same exact process for the other side. And for now, I am done with the front. As for the rear, it's the same exact process. Now that the rear is done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the front bumper. The front bumper is held on to the skid plate using two screws. One there, and the other there. Now before I attach this, I have to go ahead and slide in the pins that hold the A-arms to the front assembly. So we got these straight pins, and you're just going to line up the A-arm with the front assembly and just push that pin all the way through, just like that. Same thing for the other side. After that, we have this aluminum brace, which goes across the front, and that's held down with this single screw that goes in the middle. And now we can finally attach the front bumper, and that just slides straight into the front like that. And now, two screws go right here and right here. Then it's time to flip it over and put three more screws on the bottom. And now we can finally move on to the rear. Now before I put the rear wheelie bar on, I have to attach these parts together. And these are held together with two screws. One there and the other one there. Now that that's been put together, I'm going to go ahead and, once again, get the long straight pins, line up the rear A-arms with the rear assembly, slide those through, and put them into place. And then we also have an aluminum brace for the rear. However, a screw doesn't go on there. In fact, this goes on there first. Just line that up, slide it in, and just like the front, two screws go in through the top, and then one screw goes in through the center back. And finally, two more screws go in to the bottom. Now, to attach the rear wheelie bar, all I have to do is get this, and it attaches to this rear mount using four shoulder screws. Two on this side and two on the other. And the rear assembly is almost done. Now it's time to move on to the body mount, which attaches on top. So this gets two body posts, and you can see there is a little notch on the bottom, and there's a notch on there. So you just gotta line it up, make sure that the hole points forward, and a screw goes right through the bottom. Now that I got both body posts attached, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the whole part to the top of the shock tower held in with two screws. And I am finally done with the rear assembly. As for the front, I have to do nearly the same thing. The body mount is a little bit different, but the setup is identical. Just go ahead and align up the knots, make sure it's pointing forward, and of course a screw goes through the bottom. Once I have both posts attached, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the top of the shock tower using two screws. And I'm finally done with the front and rear assembly.